So you're ready to get started with NX Meta. Whether you're integrating your product with the Works for the Next ecosystem, NX Witness VMS, or any one of the other powered by NX products, uh, or you're trying to create your very own vSaaS solution, um, then you're going to follow the same steps to get started with Meta. Um, so the first thing you want to do is head to the Meta Developer Portal, and that's at meta.nxvms.com. Um, if you have an account for an existing Powered by NX product, like NX Witness VMS, and you have a cloud account, you can use that cloud account to log in uh, to the Meta Developer Portal. And that's what I'm going to do right now. If not, you just click Create Account here, um, and you can see it'll, you know, it's pretty simple. Your first name, your last name, your email address, and then, you know, create a password, agree to our terms and conditions and privacy, which is nothing nefarious whatsoever. Um, and you can uh, then log in. You'll get an email from our system. You have to verify that your email address is legit, uh, and then you'll be able to log in, right? So I'm going to go ahead and log in so you can see uh, what that looks like. So logging in. The very first time you log in, you're going to see that you have no systems connected to the Meta Developer Portal. Now, one, one important thing to remember is the Meta Developer Portal is also um, the place uh, that, that acts as Meta Cloud. So when you're developing, um, when you connect your systems to cloud, this is where you're connecting. Uh, and that's so that you guys don't have to go into multiple different interfaces to get the, the product and the SDKs um, and, and, and to test your systems, right? So the next thing you're going to want to do is download NX Meta for your device. Now, when you go to download NX Meta, um, you're going to see there's uh, the released version. Right, so you want to use the latest release version if you're integrating um, for existing products out there because the latest release version um, is compatible with all the released Powered by NX products uh, out in the market as a whole. So you're going to want to grab this version. You can see right now it's already detected which operating system I'm on. Uh, so it's given me the download uh, windows. Uh, one thing to remember is that Meta has a client and a server application that you're going to need for your uh, computer. Um, for Windows, it's real simple. You just download the uh, bundle installer, is what we call it. Um, and if you want to download them separately, that's available as well. There's a client and a server installer. Uh, Ubuntu Linux, you're going to uh, download them separately uh, because there is no bundled installer. For Mac, we just have a desktop client. Uh, for ARM development uh, devices, we have the NVIDIA Jetson ARM64 installer here and Raspberry Pi installer. Um, so you can get that as well. And then you can see the SDKs are here as well. So let's go ahead and download the uh, Meta bundle, right? Save it somewhere memorable, like your desktop. And it should just take a few seconds to download because it is uh, about 200 megabytes uh, in total, uh, which is not very big. Um, and that includes all the software you're gonna need uh, to um, install the system. All right, so we've got it now. Step three is install and configure in Xmeta. So if you download it for Windows, just go ahead and click on that Windows installer, and then an installer is going to pop up, um, and it's going to look like this, right? So you want client and server. You have to agree to our end-user license agreement. Um, there are some options here. Um, for options, you can you can select one or the other in the bundled installer. Um, so that's nice. So we're going to install both. Just press install here. You're going to get the old Windows uh, pop up and say, do you really want me to allow this app to make changes to your device? And the answer is yes. And then you're going to, it's going to take about a minute to install everything. There is no prerequisite software required to install Meta or any Powered by NX product. Um, it's one of the things that makes it really attractive. Uh, you don't need any extra databases or anything like that. So once installation is successfully completed, you can press the launch button. And then it's going to launch the uh, Meta client, right? So uh, at this point, you can see uh, it's, it's gone in, and it, I've only got one system here, so it's already going into the setup dialog. And what you want to do here is set up a new system. Uh, Tony Beast is the name of my computer because I got a 2080 and a bunch of RAM. So we'll call this Tony Meta. Uh, and then under advanced system settings here, um, there's a couple things you can do. You can allow device setting optimization, enable device discover, auto discovery, set it on. I, we recommend you just keep all these checked, right? It's a, if it's the first time you're doing this. Um, so it's really easy. Um, press next. Uh, press next. You're going to have to define an administrator password. So uh, this is basically your root user for the system. 
Um, even if you create a cloud account, uh, you can you can later log in locally if you're on the same local machine or local network and you're able to auto discover the server. Um, you can log in with this account as well. So you want to use something that's um, pretty, you know, secure and familiar. And then go ahead and press next. You can uh, save password is is a real convenient so that it'll just automatically log you in. Um, so. So, and then your system's ready for use, right? So what's gonna happen here is, I'm going to um, go ahead and press finish, and this is the system. It is up and running right now, and you can see my webcam just popped in. Um, so if I pull that webcam in here, hello, this is me, Tony. So you can see the uh, USB webcam is already up and running. Um, one of the things you wanna do when you first go in here is go into system administration, uh, go into licenses um, and you can see I've already got some because I've already set this up before um, but if you press this button here activate trial license uh, then you're going to see uh, license activated um, and that will allow you to, to uh, get four free licenses for 30 days you can see I did that last year in March so uh, on this machine so the licenses are tied to the actual hardware machine that you're running right um, if you need additional licenses in step five we'll go over how to do that um, but now the system is up and running. Um, I can right click here, go to camera settings, go to recording, enable recording, and then begin recording uh, my webcam here, right? So now everything is being recorded. One, one important thing to, to think about is where do you want to store that video? Uh, on this drive, we have three drives. I have three drives. Um, so I've got a 500 gig uh, operating drive and then two, two, uh, two terabyte drives. So you can enable and disable these. Now, the operating system drive is disabled by default um, because um, it, it's recognized as an operating system drive. Um, so if you're doing uh, analytics um, and you're doing integration, you can also choose which drive to store your analytics data to as well, which is really nice. But that's about it. Your system is up and running now. Um, over here on the left, you've got your uh, system tree. You've got the ability to add URLs and web pages um, to integrate third-party devices. Over here, you've got your notifications tree, um, your email server. A uh, little warning will we'll tell you to set up your email server. You don't have to do that. Um, and then if you want to connect your system to cloud, uh, then you can go ahead and, and click on this little notification up here and it'll take you to the um, how to connect the cloud. And this is really easy. That meta developer portal account we just created, uh, we go here and we put in those same credentials, right? And now my system is connected to cloud. So if we go back to the meta developer portal, and I go back to my home screen, well now I'm actually in a system, right? So my, because I have a system, I now have the, and my system is connected to the cloud, I can now see my system, right? So it's gonna take a second um, because the data from the local system is being replicated up into cloud, um, but here in about a minute, uh, I'm gonna be able to see uh, the number, number of users I have in the system, um, the, um, the health monitoring information coming from the system, um, the system settings, um, and kind of all this uh, good information. But again, it takes a minute or so for it to come in. So don't be surprised if it doesn't work within the first minute of connecting to the cloud. Um, a lot of times if you refresh it, uh, it'll come in uh, by that point in time. Today, it looks like it's uh, running a little bit slower for some reason. So give it another minute or so and we'll come back to it. So in the meantime, I want to go and download the developer tools, right? So um, in my system, uh, there's there's one tool that you have to download from cloud, uh, from the Meta Developer Portal, um, and that is the uh, Metadata SDK. So here under SDK, uh, you have cross-platform SDK camera, cross-platform SDK metadata, and cross-platform SDK storage. Actually, so these are the 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 all three SDKs that you need, um, but some of them are available in the server web interface, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so grab this cross-platform SDK. Uh, meta again save it somewhere um, that you're familiar with um, and this is it file so when you click on it um, you will you'll be able to see uh, and extract uh, the different code uh, examples uh, and uh, 
uh, build samples and everything that you have in the tool chain and everything you need to, to start working on the metadata SDK. Um, so for the server itself, right? Um, so you can see now the system is, the settings have come in, uh, the users have come in, um, the health monitoring information is coming in as well. Um, my, my USB cam is apparently dropping frames, which is uh, not surprising. And if I go to view here, I can actually see in the client as well, um, I can access my USB camera uh, remotely over cloud. Now the cloud client is a little bit slow, so don't be shocked if, it, if, it, if you've got a, a significant delay there. Um, so, but back to my original point, if I go back to the meta interface, um, and I want to um, get to the developer tools, there's a real quick way to do it. Uh, right click on the server here, right, and go to server web page. Um, you'll t they'll tell you that your connection is not private, that's fine. And then you want to log in here with your uh, cloud credentials or with that local admin uh, that we set up earlier. Both of them will work. So once I'm in here, now I'm in the server web admin interface, right? I've got server, I've got system. Uh, I've got my uh, local uh, web-based viewing. I've got monitoring that shows me my server uh, CPU usage, RAM, network, all this kind of good information, storage locations. I can see log files. And here is the most important for you guys for developers. So underneath the developer tools, and this is on your local server, that server that you just set up a second ago, um, it's running on, on your server application. Um, you have your API, you have a generic events generator, you've got your developer forum and developer knowledge base uh, links up here at the top. Um, you've got uh, the camera details pane that'll, that'll, that explains what that is. You've got the video source SDK and the storage SDK. So this is where you would download uh, those SDKs uh, if you needed them for some reason, right? Um, to be honest, most people don't use uh, those SDKs as because they are specifically for integrating uh, video sources and storage devices. And most people just find the server API is, is uh, plenty useful because it's a REST API. So a couple things with the server API, the API documentation uh, is really complete. Um, so you can go into the API if you're looking at how to pull video out, you can grab RTSP streaming or HTTP or HLS, right? Um, proxying API if you're proxying locally or through the cloud. Um, so your server API, um, your system API, um, web sockets, uh, authentication and encryption, and then we have a list of breaking changes um, in, in each release. So we just released 4.1, so you can see what's uh, broken in 4.1 to 4.0. So that's the four developers information, right? So now you should be good and ready to go. Uh, moving on to step five, um, if you do have any questions, right, then just click on this developer form right here. Um, and it'll go straight to um, our Network Optics developer form. Um, and here is where you can ask all sorts of questions, right, about what's going on. So right now, I think they're sorted by uh, newest post, recent activity. Yeah, 10 hours ago, there you go. So, you know, people are asking all sorts of questions about how you change settings inside the plugin, right, um, how do you, uh, about event metadata, metadata SDK. Um, when you post a question here, it goes directly to our development engineers, and they're going to respond uh, directly to you. Um, so that is an excellent thing, right? Um, this is the Network Optics uh, support site. Um, so you've got Develop with Meta here as well, and we have getting started guides, um, support programming language platforms, all the developer tools, and the knowledge base as well, uh, like how to get started with certain types of projects. Um, one other thing, if you do need additional licenses, um, so you can just search for licenses for Meta, and you can see getting licenses for developers here, right? Um, and basically, what, if you need some licenses, you just click on this form here, and then tell us what you need the licenses for, how many, how many licenses you need, and for how long, um, and our guys uh, will get back to you. And kind of the final step is, you know, if you want a Powered by NX proposal, um, you can just go to the website, um, networkoptics.com um, and then you can just uh, go to get pricing um, for um, vSAS for the Powered by NX vSAS products. So that's it. That's how you get started with Meta. Um, we hope you guys like it. Uh, play around with it. Let us know where you're confused um, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.